kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, I am back once again after a long time. So guys, I was basically very busy in my projects and different jobs. So I could not make the videos on real-time family GPS tracker using Android Studio. So guys, this will be the part 27 of my video series on real-time family GPS tracker app using Firebase and Android St Studio. So guys, in our previous video, we had done the, uh, I mean the join activity, uh, okay, and we have, we are now able to join any other circle member uh, circle, and now in this video, I am going to complete our my uh, circle activity, okay. So in our my circle activity, the user will be able to see all the users who have who are added in the in that user uh, circle and also we will show the uh, red or green sign if the user is currently uh, if the user is currently uploading or uh, uh, sharing the location or not okay if the user will be sharing the location so green light will be on and if the user stops the uh, sharing then the red uh, light will be on okay so now let's get started so first of all we need to create another activity and just we need to name the activity as my circle activity alright guys another thing which I want to show you is that if you want to buy uh, the source code uh, you can buy from me and I will send you the source code but uh, the charge the price of the source code is $50 okay so yeah, if you want to buy the source code you just need to send me a message on Facebook or uh, you can say or you can uh, contact me on WhatsApp okay I will upload you will be able to see my WhatsApp number and my Facebook account here okay so now guys in our my in my circle activity what we are going to do is we are going to use the relative layout and after that we need a toolbar okay so we don't need that toolbar as we are already have the toolbar so we just need a recycler view match parent and match parent okay I will name the recycler view uh, I will name it as ID alright so now this will contain all the users who are added in the user circle so now in our my circle activity first of all what we need is a recycler view okay so now we first of all need to initialize that so we can say recycler view equals to recycler view find view by ID r dot ID dot recycler view okay and after that we need an adapter so we can say recycler view dot adapter all right and after that we also need to use a layout manager so for that we can say recycler view dot layout manager layout manager alright and after that we just need to use the firebase out ok and firebase user we both need so first of all let's initialize our authentication firebase authentication and also user equals to file uh, sorry out dot cat current user alright also we need a create user object so let's say create create user and we need an array list to hold the data so of type create user name list okay and inside our own create um, method we need to initialize our array list as new array list alright so after that 
in our own create method all we need to do is we need to initialize our layout manager so we can say layout manager equals to new linear layout manager and inside that i need to pass this and then we need to use recycler view dot set layout manager and inside that we will pass the layout manager okay and we need set as fixed size to true we need a fixed size and after that what we can do is let's now initialize our uh, file okay so now we need a database reference and also we need user reference alright so first of all we need to initialize our uh, reference as equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child users okay okay so we need to use the user reference alright and also we will insert our reference as file base database dot get instance cut dot get reference dot child users dot child user dot get user id dot child circle members alright and now after that now we need to re we need to retrieve the values of inside the circle members so we can say reference dot add value event listener new value event listener alright and inside that are on uh, data change method so first of all we need to clear our array list okay and all right okay guys so we will continue our record in our next video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye